Hey guys, my name is Yoan Light Wisdom and this is a guide to Olympic diving. Alright guys, welcome back to another Guide to Olympic Diving episode. This is all about back twist. Back twist is the direction with the most difficult dive ever competed in diving, excluding cliff diving, but I'll tell you more about that shortly. Unlike front twist, there is no twisting out option. All twists are done before the somersault. But that hasn't stopped people giving it a go, like young cliff diver Aiden Heslop here. but you won't find anyone doing that in Olympic diving. Very few divers at high international level will use a twist in this direction on springboards, as most would either go for front or reverse twist. However, on platform, it's probably the most common twisting direction for both men and women. There are much fewer variations of back twist in comparison to front twist, mainly due to the fact that there's no twisting out. Current popular variations are the back two and a half with one and a half twists, used by both men and women, and the back two and a half with two and a half twists, which is extremely rare in women's diving, but much more common in men's diving. Former British diver Leon Taylor was actually the first person in the world to compete in the back two and a half with two and a half twists. Oh, he is too. Leon invented this dive. He was really brave to do that. The other divers have followed, and he's nailed it just at the time that he needs to. Good start, one and a half twists, two and a half twist, then forward onto his pike, and he gets the entry. Most divers of his era actually preferred the back one and a half somersaults with three and a half twist, which arguably is the more aesthetically pleasing of the two. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. But the back two and a half, two and a half twist carried a higher degree of difficulty, which is why it became more popular. In 2008, Matthew Mitchum of Australia got an Olympic record of the highest score on a single dive when he nailed this dive for 112 points on his way to the gold medal. And this score is yet to be broken. Russian diver Viktor Minibayev was the first and only diver to compete a dive with a degree of difficulty of 4.3, which was the back two and a half somersaults with three and a half twists, making it the hardest dive in the world. This is one direction that I no longer associate myself with because I use two variations of the forward twist on three meter, and I also use forward twist on one meter, so there's no space for any back twist in either of my lists. Also, in terms of degree of difficulty, I'd definitely not be able to get anywhere near to what I've got with front twist on back twist. Therefore, I'll probably never compete a back twist again. It did used to be a major dive for me back in the day on platform. I used to compete the back one and a half somersaults with two and a half twists on seven meter. But in the process of me learning back two and a half somersaults with one and a half twists on 10 meter, I had a bit of a wipeout. That was pretty much the reason that I decided to stop doing tower. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments box below. If not, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on next week's episode of a guide to Olympic diving. Peace out.